you know, you really make it hard on me to edit. You know that, right? Well, I don't know if that's public knowledge. She, it's on Facebook. She posted it on Facebook right. about it. All she right. did a post about her cat. All right. She's really I'm sad. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to defend you. Maybe. Yeah, I, did, I don't know why I'm I whispered sorry about it. Your but yes, please give gay rights. Adoptions. Hallelujah. Or oh <laughs> gay, gay rights. Oh my gosh, that's kind of iffy, huh? Adoption rights for gays. Yeah, you're making it look bad. No, it's not bad. I, I, I agree with it as long as you've had like background checks and you've had people like, you know, watch you and your significant other and things like that. Oh. Okay. I don't agree with people that adopt children without an, a partner in their life. Have you ever seen that? Does that happen? Yeah, I mean, I to me, I, I understand, like, some people just don't, like, I told you, I never wanted to really be with anyone, but I wanted to I'm be a mother. Really, I'm really, like, not about politics, but I will say this much. I was called a Republican gay a long time ago by a friend of mine, or conservative gay, is what she said, and I was like, I guess I kind of am. I'm, I'm not the... I'm not, like, against gays having kids, obviously. I think more damaging is being... Re- Denied the right to have a child because you're in a gay I relationship. Think for a child- we're talking gays having kids. We're so Well, fun. it's like, you know what? We're fun. Ellen That's John, what people like us. I wish Ellen John my dad. I know, it's crazy because it's like, I don't mind doing this. It's just natural, but it's like, I sit there and I look at myself and I'm like, I hate, like, I'm so... Don't I, even... I do it, but it's like, I'm so hard on myself lately you got to remember that, that like, there's... I'm mad at some winners. I mean, at the end of the day, it's... This is what you love. Of course, I'm going to support you in any way I can. Well, and I don't mind you. being in the... Yeah, I don't mind. I tell you to send them to me so I can post them. If these past few weeks have, like, literally, it's like... It's been rough. Yeah, it pits you in a chokehold where it's, like, boom, boom, boom. It's, like... It's, like, you don't even want to say things sometimes. It's so yeah. awkward. You know what I mean? And my thing is, I don't know how to talk to people. I hold stuff in, and it's, like, oh, well, yeah, I'm, like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And it's, like, what? Why, why do you say anything? It's like, oh. well. It's it's I, okay though. Like you don't realize it sometimes, and it's like. But as far as the year, the year at the end of the day, every you year did is that. Be good, bad, everything. It's the fact of at the end of at the end of it. Did what you do you take what away you, of you? Like, you yeah. accomplished what you set out to do, yeah. and it was hard. I, I'm sure it was hard. I could tell it was hard at times. You it's, probably were exhausted. Yeah, like I yes, and now I feel like I'm just not. You're probably not used to being on all. go. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm still on go. Like, it's... Yeah. I never catch a break. Like, if Give I Give yourself even, a break. So like, I want a oh, recap, like, kind of. It was so, like... What do you, oh, like a... Like, like a, a little... Like a monoflage. I'm gonna do a mon- monotage. Montage? Montage? I'm gonna do a monotage after we're done doing this. So. I think it's just... If, if you look back on everything and you just think of all the bad that has happened, it's why it's like look it's like of course we have good and bad every year it's dude look at what you have accomplished look at the happy good moments look at it's the truth look around you yeah like, like seriously like there was a There's death at the beginning of the year a- like think, take the good with the bad don't focus on the bad or every year's gonna be miserable oh yeah like you think i feel good like i'm over here you look game great game, game thank you you don't, you don't, don't come over to- enough that's your problem you gotta have more vitamin will in your life well, I think now that I really just, solves like Alzheimer's. Well, it's like I finished school that Thursday, and then I graduated Sunday, and December seventeenth. And it's like there was no like it was just the end. And I'm like, I'm like I walked in. I'm like, wait, today's third. I'm like, today's the last day of school. And I'm like, we graduate this Sunday, dude. It's done. Congratulations. Thanks. It was. It's bittersweet. It very it's gonna much be was. very. I think that New. I think that you've done a lot more work than you think you've done. Especially involving this. Just so you yeah. know, there's... Obviously, I worked really hard to put it together. However, if you weren't there for the countless... Oh my god, you guys. Like, if I think it was a long time that we spent doing this, I know for a fact that this was hard on her. I know that for a fact. Like, I can't even imagine how stressed out you were. Because like, she doesn't even drink, you guys. Like, it's weird. I can't She anymore. doesn't drink. So, it's like, she's sitting there. She's sober, right? Maybe she has an energy drink, you know. You, well, maybe not. You probably should have had a Red Bull or two. You know what I mean? Well, like, to did deal you, with this. you saw do me by my senior project? I got drunk on the Stella Rose, and I'm like, to be honest, I'm like, I, I drank too much Stella Rose, and I kept cutting. I drink. I just can't. Well, you drink don't drink with me because, because I, I drink can't tequila. Do, yeah, like that. That's what had me. It's a really powerful. Bad, like you know how many times? It's honestly powerful. Yeah, like I got blackout, kicked out of the club every single night. The bouncers knew my name. They messaged me beforehand. All, yeah, I, got I mean, I broke two teeth out, too. So, I think tequila is probably not the best. Walk but the I will say, don't ever ask for 
Jaeger. I feel like Jaeger is so much worse. I just don't... I can't do liquor at all now. Like, it makes me, like, sick. It makes me, like... I probably should stop. I, I haven't had that much of a... Well, I've had a... Craving for it. You're picky eater, too? I got... Um, what is don't it? Don't steal all that. It's all my money. Uh, okay, I can't even vacuum out my car with this. But no, like, you I... use my vacuum. I think it's funny that, like, I look back on, like... No, like, and that's... I've came such a far, far away. It's like the whole like I don't drink. It's crazy that you say that because it's like you asked Tabitha. Tabitha would tell you I had a problem. Like, but, Tabitha was scared. <laughs> that's so crazy. It was bad. But like, I was imagine that happy. though. Yeah. So she goes from being an alcoholic to being sober to being around this freak right here. Literally out of my mind, you guys. Drunk as f. Like just losing my mind. Like trying to get this equipment to work that just clearly was never going to work in the first place because I didn't know what I was doing, and I probably spent. Lot, like huh? so much many hours days probably in total like not in one sitting but i'm just saying like we've spent days doing this and so uh we've learned as we went we did it it's been done she's a trooper i will say she's a trooper i think i have a whole book full of you notes do. i gave you my notepad and then you also no, have like, my poem book too for, it's like but I like add it on and like put real notes for the podcast that we never use. I find them sometimes when I'm like, looking through my notes. It's like remind Madison how sexy she is, or like make sexual innuendo towards okay. Madison I have to a, begin. Like a note thing that it's I like try to do. It's like a thing do. about shame at the top. It's like innuendo sexual things to Madison. You're trying to make me feel shameful of my sexuality. No, no, no. Like innuendoing like a like seductive way or. Why are you gonna shame me for like my needs and my wants? Is that workers? Uh, what's it called? Not workers' comedy. No, it's uh, sexual harassment. Sexual harassment. Yeah. So I t- I write down like sexually harass. Yeah. Madison like literally, like with words. The way you touch, like you be touching on me, each other, like. Didn't I touch you, you earlier? I, don't, I did. Yeah, I did. you were on top of it. You didn't even what ask. Was I you were, oh my god, I did that too. Wow. Yeah, like wow. That's pat on the butt. I didn't. Pat on the butt. No, he didn't. He's, she grabbed he's scared her, of it. No, she grabbed her brother's vagina one time. His his butt. Don't say vagina. Why not? Here's a butt, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Butt, vagina, I mean, whatever. What is Anyways. It? Trash. Trash. Trash, sorry. They don't have any class. They get it from my real grandpa. Trash. Okay, so anyways, so, <laughs> my, so are you going to ask me about my year? Yes, how was your year, William? Uh, Even though you tell them every day how your year was. I know, I tell them everything over and over and over, and then I get kind of confused when I rewatch myself saying certain things. I'm like, dang it, I thought that was a new story I was about to tell. But, um, yeah, no. How was it? Uh, huh? How was it? How do you feel? Oh, how do I feel? I feel yeah. okay. I, um, you know, uh, around this time last year, I felt really good, mm-hmm. I think. Because, you know, around this time last year, it was like the darkness, you know, it happened. Like, and I was recovering. <laughs> they told me I would never walk again. I was walking. Hello. Full fledged, full force. Yeah. And then I had to get myself out of the tunnel that I walked myself back up in here and I saw these painted walls and everything has changed completely 360 in this whole um house even though like floors and everything i finished off i kind of look like a oh like uh i'm giving blues clues oh let me answer your question um yes answer please i feel good i feel good i know that i would now i actually didn't know that i would and regarding youtube i've been blessed enough to be able to share you know my life and how I see it through my eyes and things like that and per- perfect my craft and been able to work with it in a way that's like really challenged me. I think that you've accomplished a lot and like I... In one year's time it feels like I haven't been doing... I'm gonna cry saying this. It feels like I haven't been doing social media that long. I've been doing it for years. It's a milestone. It's a very big milestone what's happened recently. Yeah, like... One million you views. You really put the work in. Like, you know, it's... And it really show, goes to show because yes. there was t- it was sleepless nights that nobody saw. Maybe you saw a little bit of it. And by the time, the night by the time, the yeah, falling asleep. I mean, you know, no, like, like the time I fell asleep on the couch, and I wake up and like I look and I'm like, you're like this. Yeah. Oh my god, I would go in, and that, and it helped me so much, like strategy wise, on how to how to Maybe really how to really get the video done. You know what I mean? It's like a full time job. You really have to baby it and then treat it like a baby and care for it and things like that. But it's, also, it needs to be done quickly. You have to love what you do, and it's like. I love it. You know, it's like, not only did you find, like, a hobby, but you found your passion. Your passion a like it's, career. That's what a career should be. A profession And should work be. should be fun. You yes. should never have to work a day in your life if you found what you love. Exactly. Like, 
At the end of the day, it might be a hard day as work. You might have busted right. your butt, but... Taylor Swift, I'm sure she has hard days. Yeah. But she's doing exactly what she wants to do, and she's the highest paid singer. When you no longer love it, singer. then that's when you know. It's like, I love making other people feel good about themselves. That, that was always my big Me thing too. with, like, cosmetology. Like, I just want people to feel beautiful and feel good. And I like making people... That's probably why you're so good at comedy. And, yeah, like, it's very much... I've, it's very second nature, I can yeah, tell. Yeah, because it's like, I, I... And it's crazy, because it's like, I wanted to feel beautiful about myself, or I wanted... I wanted to make other people happy when they're sad, and it's like yeah. I made sure I gave that to others. So you, like alcoholism, like look at the end of the day, we oh, made it very clear that like yeah, it's not. I haven't fun. even had a drink in this video. Like, don't drink. Like, don't smoke cigarettes. I've never smoked one in my entire life. Rehab ain't fun when they really try to send you and you're you're shaking because you ain't had a drink. It's embarrassing, but it's funny to think of like, dang, like what in the world was I <sighs> thinking? I, I and you know, it's not okay. It can lead to really bad things, yeah. you guys. And, and, you know... There are people, though, that think it's funny and, like, make it... It's not glamorous. No, it's not. And, and I it, think that's the realness of, like, people need to hear that. It like, is. It's the truth. I will say this much to end off this... We're um, pretty real. This is some... We're really real hoes. And, you know... Not not hoes. Garden hoes. We're, we're <laughs> probably the best of the best. I, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. You're watching the best YouTube channel on YouTube. This year brought a lot of good... I think you I also believe that I know you did too like you should be proud like I'm very proud and I'm extremely thing. proud I After just think all the that, bad look at what we've and accomplished there, and you know but I'm not saying that had to happen there's tragedies there's storms every day no matter what, what wherever you go no matter what decisions you're, you're making to positively affect your life, you're going to have to face obstacles. It's called oh. trials and tribulations, <laughs> and we all have to do that. And at the end of the day, it, it shows how much of a person you are to be able to get through those things okay. And not only okay, but you persevere through that storm. And regardless of the calm afterwards, this is what this year proved to me, no matter what, you better keep going no matter what. Because oh, the yeah. truth is, is... I thought I had just been through the worst thing I could ever experience. Do you understand? You, yeah. you give me. I'm. I had to relearn how to walk. That's the worst thing that you have experienced in life at that time. And like I had no it, idea it could get so worse much. Worse. And yeah, and, 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 in a different way, in a mental. Because the other mm -hmm. thing didn't affect me so mentally. It was more so. Oh, I know I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show everybody. It was. It was and the it most was, traumatic event of your it life. It was very at that time. scary, but I just wasn't scared. I was prepared for it. For some reason, God like gave me strength or something. I don't know how to explain that. It was a wake up call. It was very much a wake up call. And it was and I traumatic. Took, and I cleaned up. And I'll say this much: I'm glad that that happened, but I'm not glad that this last thing happened this past year. I lost someone really close to me, and I'm gonna end this off. I know it's about to cut me off, but um, you know, and that saddens me, and it 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 makes me really emotional. But that's another level of pain and hurt that you have. I have to face, you know, and I will face it every day of my life, I think. But, God you know, just does, God's going to have to, you know, continue to allow me to push forward. Right. Or I'm going to fall back and I'm not about to fall back. I've come too far. I told you it's people I've come too far about like, you know, it's hard being on the top and it's hard being a loser on the bottom and no Take matter what and no matter what field you're in no matter what you're doing no matter if you feel like a weirdo online making i go out with these selfie sticks by myself while my friends are at work and if I'm working, you know, doing Uber or whatever, I'll dress up real nice. And if I know I'm going to be downtown, I'll take some pictures by myself. And I don't care if people are watching me, okay? Have some faith in yourself. It's just you got it. put the work in. And no don't. matter what field it is. But period. it's hard being a bum and it's hard being on top. Yeah. Pick it. And you pick your struggle. And no matter what, the storms pass, but you always will run into a new a new one. You just have to be prepared for it this time. And you got to let people in and help you that love you. And, and that's a home. hard thing. It is very hard. Very hard. But you know what? But this year's taught me a lot about that, too, is that who who, yeah. who, and who not to allow so much comfort to do those types of things. Don't take certain people for granted because you don't get those, you know, you won't always find those people. That's the truth. And, and I regret doing certain things to certain people in the past, but I also know in my heart that God sees those people and sees what's happened and the reason why I figured out certain things, you know, it just, it makes, in my mind, sense to just move forward away yeah. from all that it's, because it's not good for either party at that point. And that's the sad thing. It's a, it's sad, it's a you know what? It's a new journey and I'm prepared. And, and I you hope, cheer them on, you know? I hope that you're prepared too, Madison. Yeah. 
I mean, regardless of all this, going. you know, you can quit if you want to, but I would sit here and talk Are to you myself and just me? no, no. I mean, uh, I'm not firing you. I'm I'm giving you a raise. Oh, right, like trailer trash freaky, princess. Freaky Friday, but trailer trash. Yeah, edition. I'm like Reba Fancy, baby. I'm gonna make it out. What's yeah. that song? It's a single mom who works too hard. We're oh, ending it off the here. And then we're going to have the... Oh. F- fancy was her name. Just, fancy don't let me down. She had to go to the top and she had to, her mom... Uh, yeah. That's what oh. she, was she was from white trash. Oh, well, that concludes uh, the monologue to this um, now said, um, you know, that's going to be a montage. I'm so glad it's still recording. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys for the support. One million views later... Um, 7,000 more subscribers later so we're at 8,000 something now thank you, thank you, thank you hopefully this recorded the last 50 minutes please don't jinx me Will, I love Uh, you guys thank you love y'all Yeah, it